You're going to show them the carnage we told them about. Mm. The Ford clutch pack. That's supposed to have fibers on it. CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. You guys might notice it's a little dark in the shop today. Ooh. Why is that? No power. We went Amish today. Yes. No, we didn't go Amish. We've uh, lost power since about four o'clock yesterday. It's about eight o'clock this morning. So uh, show's got to go on. Tucker's over at welding. Uh, kind of did another little video in the dark with the stick welder because that's <laughs> what we're doing off a generator. Randy's welding or sanding next door on a uh, truck with the air compressor. So you guys watched there's a previous video on this dude here it's 450g it had a bad transmission in it had some uh clutch discs come apart in it. it's a lower hour machine 2000 hours or so but uh, go back watch that previous video of us taking this transmission out so apologize for the lighting it's not going to be the best today because we are outside so hopefully the power gets on there usually it's never off this long but we had a bad storm come through here yesterday um, right after work so We've got the doors open, had to unhook the garage door openers and all that good stuff. But what happened, uh, this tractor is like a 97, 98 model. And uh, I've seen this happen before. Um, it still had the red transmission fluid in it, kind of turned pinkish, but it's got water in there, probably from condensation, not changing over the years. But uh, when that water gets in this transmission oil, it eats the uh, clutch disc material and they start coming apart. And, all that good stuff and it's no fun. I can already tell right here that these three have got uh, a little hot and I don't see any friction material on them. <laughs> so we got three clutch packs in there. We're going to yank this whole thing apart and rebuild it today. But uh, this top one is forward and reverse. So these dozers have a four speed manual transmission. You guys have seen us rebuild those other ones with the hydrostatics. Um, these are a lot more simpler. There's no computer operates them. A lot cheaper to rebuild. But uh, this is forward and reverse. So when you move your little lever up there and forward and reverse, you got an F here and an R here. It's going to put fluid in one side of this clutch pack or the other, whichever direction you're going, and lock all those discs up. So, and then we got our other gears here, one, two, three, and four. We got one and two here, and three and four here on the clutch pack on each side. So, pretty, pretty simple setup. I know it kind of looks looks daunting, but uh, it's not too bad once you get it apart. So. I think I have all the parts and pieces and seals and snap rings here for it. So what we're going to do is start taking it apart here in sections. This is going to apply to any G-Series tractor made from 88 to 2000. Doesn't matter what model it is. They're all the same. So um, First thing, we've got a regular ring and pinion here. We'll probably start yanking it out. But guys, notice there's an S on this side here. You can see that. And we've got a D on this side here. So you want to pay attention to your ring gear. Right now we're on the S side. That stands for single reduction. If it was over here on this D side, it'd be double reduction. Being this was a short track dozer, it's just single reduction. So what the double reduction is, it has another gear in the final drive. It actually sets this final drive back farther. You wouldn't have to bust your track up to take the transmission out. I kind of explained that in the last video. But whenever you put another gear on there, that double reduction going to make the uh, gear spin the opposite way so their solution for that was just to flip that ring gear around so it's very important you get that put back together the same way if not when you go forward it's going to go in reverse we don't want that do we mm. so it's been a little while since i had one of these apart but don't I worry about i'm a trained professional we got um, this we'll start by taking this ring ring gear out because we got to get the pinion shaft out so this is the input from the engine that's all it drives all this stuff. That's the main power shaft. It's kind of crazy. It's no bigger than it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But uh, they made, it was kind of two versions of these transmission. This is a later style. I had a serial number break in the early 90s or so. Um, this is a later style. The uh, earlier ones used some bushings and stuff. And a lot of stuff's not available anymore. You either got to make your own bushings or they want you to upgrade to gear to uh, the ball bearing style. But this is a later style here. Got all the updates and all that good stuff in it. So, you ready to get after it? Let's I wonder it, if they can hear us talking right now. 
<laughs> we got I some, can't hear you talking. We got some mics on right now, so <laughs> Tucker's over there making a lot of noise. <laughs> Alright, let's get after it. That's right. <laughs> Kevin's pulling a bearing retainer out. Should be some shims on there too. I'll keep all those shims the same on that side. I've got the same thing going on over here. If he picks up on that a little bit, I can probably it's hard to do things one handed, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put that over here. Fish that out. Set that dude down here. Mm -hmm. um, this goes on this your side here, don't it? Yep. I'm gonna set this on here so we don't get that mixed up. Okay. All right. All right. I think we got to take this little, we need to get our snapper ring pliers. We got a little tiny one in there. We got to pop that one out, I believe. If I remember right. And then we'll take these uh, four bolts out here. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of winging as I go along. Like I say, it's been, been a little while. We'll get it figured out. All right, got four bolts out of the front. I took this cover off. Kevin's got a big two and a quarter inch socket. Take that out. Nut right, off. It's a big old retainer nut that holds these, this uh, shaft on. There's some shims under there. We should be about ready to walk this case off. Bring these back here. Um, we got snap ring on here. It's got to come off. On these two shafts, and this shaft, I think we can pull this. Yeah, we'll take these inner snap rings off, and then this cover should pull off. Can do it. That's what happens when you have too many shafts. There we go. Got it. Okay, let me set this out of the way. Hmm. All right. A little peek inside. So these uh, little steel piston rings here. Those oils come down through those lines and they go in each one of these holes and these are drilled to let uh, oil into the piston. So that's what we did before we had computers. <laughs> and it works just fine, doesn't it? It does. A little thrust washer there. You got it unwelding, bud? Good Ooh. job. Are you drinking a milkshake? I can't eat nothing. Oh, yeah. Tucker got his wizard teeth pulled out. Oh. Got dumb back down to the rest of us, didn't you, brother? <laughs> Set that back. All right. <laughs> All right, you're going to take that pinion shaft out that way. I think Randy has it. You need one? There's more than one. I hope you remember how this all goes back together. What? <laughs> we got books. <laughs> we make a YouTube video about it. We can watch it. Yeah. All right. 
All right, so we pulled that main pinion shaft out there. Then I'm not sure which one's which, but they're pretty much identical. That's either second and or first and second, or third and fourth. We're gonna keep them on which side to go. Let's see. Is that the original briding? Yeah, this transmission has never been apart. That's it. Transmission's apart. Now we get to have fun with presses and snap rings and clutch disc. Hooray! Alright. Stepped inside the shop here. We got all of our parts laid out. I got all the snap rings. I always put new snap rings in transmissions. I don't cut corners. I did a long time ago working for dad. We reused some snap rings on a dozer transmission and it ended up biting us. We had one come back apart and I'd pull the transmission out. So ever since then, I've learned to spend an extra few hundred dollars buy all new snap rings. Well, I think they're only good for one time use. So we got new transmission clutch disc. You'll probably see here later on. This is what come apart on some of the uh, lining. So we've got new steels here if we need them. We've got every seal and that's all there is. We're still waiting, hoping that the um, power comes on. So we're going to rebuild this first and second gear clutch pack. It's pretty much identical to the third and fourth. So hopefully the power comes back on so you guys have a little better look. We'll bring it back in on the uh, second one. It's identical. There goes another dozer. There goes our ramp builder. <laughs> they don't know what we're talking about. Our RC <laughs> track builder. That's right. That's all in a bunch of other videos. But That's right. We're going to do this one. We'll bring you guys back after we get done and start the uh, second one, hopefully we got lights again. We can see, but you guys probably can't. Look at that, we got lights again and a fan. That's right. The day is now ready to work. We got this one all rebuilt, stuck back in there, ready to go in the dark. It was not fun, was it? Flashlights. And... Flashlights and can't see and snap rings and all right, we're ready for this one. We'll bring you guys along on this pack. And then uh, we got the forward and reverse deal last. We'll, uh, where'd some of those discs go? We've been throwing stuff away. You guys want to see, that's a good one. I think the last two or three were good. This one's not so good. You guys see that right there? That's that fiber material that's supposed to be stuck to the steel. But uh, that's what we've been dealing with. Just some random disc here and there, but we're replacing every single one of them. So you guys can see we got a pile of them. Ready to pull a bearing off first. Bearing. That's what smart people do. We're just gonna go down through the stack. We got a bearing, snap ring, this gear should slide off. And then we'll have to pull this gear off, I believe. And then we can uh, do some pressing. Oh, the power of the Hercules. I'll flip everything off. Here we go. Let's stack that on there. Oh, that's a snap ring. Oh, that's a dirty got one. Got me, bub. I look like Taco Bell over here. when you were hoping it was going to do that, weren't you? we got to take this big snap ring out here and then we can put the puller on there. Did you see me about to take you out? I <laughs> did. Don't worry, I'll be, I'll be your retainer. Okay, now we're ready. Puller time. You did it. Hercules power, bub. What'd you expect out of the best? You want to keep stacking? Sure. All right, now we got a clutch pack. Just gonna lay this stuff out here. Oh, look at that. It looks like we're missing something. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh -uh. Huh. Nothing wrong there. Uh-oh, she's oh. starting to look like a 4L60E oh. now, bub. Is this a Chevy tranny? <laughs> a super slide. They call this a wavy plate, this very last one. It always rides against a piston. 
Don't ask me why. So we got a piston here. We got cone spring washers here. We'll have to put this over in the uh, press and uh, push this down to get this little snap ring off while you're trying to get that one off. This one's always fun. I'll help you. Teamwork. Got that all twisted up, don't we? All right, we're at our workstation. We got this pipe fitting. I've got a notch in it here. Hopefully you guys can hear me. We're gonna press down on that and relieve the tension so we can get to that ring. Got quite the operation. All right, bud. Got it. Got it. Yep. Go ahead. All right, so we've got to press that shaft out. We can take that piston out of here too. Mm -hmm. So this is a piston. The oil is gonna come down through these, one of these grooves here, and it's gonna shoot oil out and push this piston out, and it locks those um, clutch packs together. We're gonna put new seals in there while we got it going. It's a nice, pretty pink oil. And, uh, so we gotta take a big snap ring out from the other side. Then we're gonna drive this shaft down through to get to the other side. Uh oh, boss lady's here, bud. Oh, we're in trouble. We got power. All right, we got this custom made piece here. It's gonna do what? It's gonna help us press it apart. That's right. So it's got to go on the, uh, let's set it on the press first. This one-handed operation stuff just don't. <laughs> Put that down there, and we'll bring a clutch pack over, and we'll shove that shaft out of that uh, basket. All right, we're going to push this shaft down through the basket here. Am I under all of them over there? Yep. You ready? Okay. Mm. She's got a pretty good amount of weight on her. How much? About seven. Seven tons, huh? Yeah. You know, I don't have a box under here yet either. <laughs> Hey, it moved. Okay. It scared we me. all flinched. I wonder if it scared her people. Oh, we're building back up again. Oh, How many tons are you putting on her? Uh, right now about four. We got us a big old basket of parts. Start with this side. We got to put this back in the pressy, don't we? <laughs> we got to do the same thing here. These are just cone washers. They're spring. It's kind of a spring return for the piston. We let the oil off. They uh, push it back. I guess we got to bust that off, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we got the other piston washers off there. Sausage Fingers is going to grab a hold of the piston at any moment. 
and pulled out like a man. Ah! Get it, Bubby. Smoky Link's in action, Bob. Ooh, look at all that goodness. Just let that drain out for a second. Okay. All right, I like to put stuff right back together the way we just took it back apart. So since we just pulled that piston out, we're gonna start with new seals. Kevin's getting a new seal there. There's just two rubber seals, inner and outer, basically. We're just gonna put it back together the way it come apart here. That's a pretty long pause. I got mine in the first couple of seconds. What's that, the seal? But yeah, my seal. Oh, I'll let you I do that it. seal next time. No, <laughs> it'll be all right. You got it. Oh, where's the little hole at? We got a little hole we got to line up with the dowel pin in here. We learned all this stuff on the first one in the dark. That's right. Uh oh. Little straight screwdriver. Time we gotta help this outside O ring, square ring, whatever you call it. A ring of seal. There she went. Boom. All right, now we gotta stack up. Did you clean those off for me while you were doing nothing? Uh, yeah. Did you see me do it? One. Stack up her cone washers. Two. Trace. Four. Five. See? I could get we need you a, a new snap, snap ring. ring. So Kevin's getting a new snap ring over here. We're gonna put this back in the press, press it down, and put that snap ring on. And then we'll take a look at these clutch packs. It's gonna be a great time. I got enough on my side. Okay. Grab a screwdriver. Ready? Yep. You ready? Let yep. go. Not quite in all the way. Mm -mm. Not yet. There she went. You got that little snap ring there in the hole. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you get that little. Someone is calling for you, Papa. We're, we're in the middle of filming here. <laughs> <laughs> We've got multiple <laughs> operations going on right now. Papa. All right, we got that side together. We're going to take all this goodness off right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks like we're missing some parts. Basically what we're gonna do is just start stacking right back here. We've got to press these two together. And the bad thing about this, you gotta line these keyways up. It starts way up here. You gotta line those keyways up with this here. So um, we need a new big snapper in here first, Kevin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These you can probably reuse, but perhaps that's it. At this point in the game, we're not doing that. We take no chances. No chances. Snappy McSnapperson. Snapping first. Plate. I'm pretty sure that one's probably not good. Upgrading to a 4L80 now. Brand new. Guys are probably wondering why I didn't pre-soak these in oil. If you watched the first video, you probably understood. This whole transmission sits submerged in oil. So we're reusing the steel as long as they look good. I do have some if we need them. That one wasn't bad. Not 
Too bad. <clears throat> oh. She was messing in action. That one's no good. These marks, you see, that's just from this piston riding on it. It just pushes on it, so those are fine. Is that it? That's it, bub. Now that's got to go back in there, so mm -hmm. we'll go ahead and get it started here in place. Let me go ahead and put a little bit of oil on here. Real critical. It's a long ways away. Yeah, I'm trying to line this up with this here. I've got some marks on there because it's pressing the whole way down that shaft. Just give me some taps with the brass hammer up here, Kevin. I like that. We'll get it kind of started and take it to the press. Like it? Someone on there. Okay. We're gonna flip flop that over in the presser in a second. All right. Yeah. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. We gotta spread these apart. You got those? I got the disc. Okay. Here, probably just a flat plate. That thing here. I'm centered up. Yeah, we ain't bad my way. Yep. Okay. Ready, pretty? See, we've got that keyway coming down. Mm, I got a little pressure on it now. Gonna let off of it, make sure it's yep. not bound. There you go. There she went. About an eighth inch away. Oh, yep. Getting a little pressure here. Let me drop it off. We just barely started, okay. I think, in the keyway. Yep, we're good. Put my camera up and I lost it. We got that side pressed together. We're going to uh, do the same thing. We've got the same exact piston over here, same clutch pack deal. You guys just seen us do all that. Um, once we get that back together, we'll bring you guys back. We got to uh, press that gear and that bearing back on there. That one will be done. We just got one more left. It's just that easy. 
I knew it was just that easy, wasn't it? Yeah. It's always snack time when I turn the camera on. You ever notice that? Well, because it's always right, snack right, time. Right, right. It's always snack time. I'm gonna drop on one gear here. Can they hear me eating with my microphone? Um, yum, 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 yum. I think you need a new one of those. Hmm. <laughs> Fruit Loop snacks, how old are you? <laughs> uh, sure. Did you get Jay's? Hunter's, or Hunter's hooking up garage doors from a power outage situation. It's always exciting here at CNC Equipment. We're gonna get that one snap ring on there. I've got bearing to put on there. That clutch pack will be done. I'll we'll stick it back in its home. And then we'll go after the Ford in reverse. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna see some more major carnage, especially on these steel discs, because those are a different color. We've had bad discs everywhere in the whole transmission so far, haven't we? Yes, we have. Just a few here and there, but I'm guessing we're gonna see some major carnage here in a second. Yeah. Yeah. How big there a boy are you? I got that bearing on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, bub. Finger smasher time. Like I put that real far out so your T-Rex arms couldn't reach it. <laughs> that is mighty wide up. You don't need such a thing like this. There we go, bub. She home? What? Getting all Do you lift? You. Do you lift, bro? Okay. I'm gonna be over here crying. <laughs> go get me out. some acetaminophen. <laughs> Oh my, we might as well keep on trucking. Well, uh, you guys kind of seen the process there. We'll set you up here on uh, Speedo Vision and we'll probably bring you back in when we get some carnage maybe. How about that? Carnage? Just that easy. Spent. It's hot. We got it. You're going to show them the carnage we told them about. Mm. The Ford clutch pack. That's supposed to have fibers on it. It that's, used to. That's supposed to be that's steel. That's steel. It's supposed to be shiny chrome. Yes. She's got a little warm. Huh. I just don't understand it, how it even moved. Nope. Sure don't. Now the reverse side looked fine, didn't it? Yeah. The Ford was bad. Then we had... Just some random gears over there are bad, so. It is Friday, it's the end of the holiday weekend here. We can't say what holiday is and at a timestamp our videos. Oh, They're probably sorry. gonna guess it. Christmas. Hmm? Christmas, yeah, I don't think so. Dang it. But, uh, but we're anyway, getting closer. We're gonna be off for about four days. I'm pretty sure we can figure out how to get it together. Four days? Unless you're coming in on Monday, Randy. We're talking about 4th of July. The third falls on Monday. We let freedom ring. On oh, Tuesday. So we're, not coming in Good thing you we're coming in on Sunday, Randy. Okay, I'll be here. Randy will be here no matter what. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys later next week. Bye. Good work. You don't look like Kevin. Yeah. Okay. What's Kevin doing? Painting big army trucks? I don't know. I haven't talked to him. Today. You're my helper for the day. Yeah. You look happy about it. All right, we got the uh, main input shaft stuck in here off camera. You guys seen us take that apart, but uh, we're about ready to, uh, where'd our other, that clutch pack over there? Are you a man? No. You man handle it over here? Bearing goes. Uh, bearing goes in it. It's heavy, so. Bearing goes in towards the case. That's the last one we just rebuilt. And watch your fingers. How's he gonna? <coughs> oh, you can do it. All 
All right, got that slit in there. We're uh, Tucker's opening up the uh, cast iron sealing rings. I'm going to replace those. Yeah, I might be able to reuse them. This is all it seals the oil up, or like a piston ring, basically. That seals the oil up. We've got all these holes in here, as I said before. Those all do a different function. So, there's just a sealing ring on each side of the port. So all it seals the oil up on these things. So, I'll get these put in here. They go on. There's actually a hook. They hook together. Go just like that. So, we've got uh, four of them on each shaft here. And then we'll slide that front cover on there and uh, get this big nut torqued on there. Then we'll put the uh, ring gear back in there. We gotta watch those little O rings or seal rings. <laughs> All right, we got the front cover slid on there pretty easy. Tucker's going to torque these uh, four bolts down to 96 pound-feet. This is pound not the feet. first time we torque something in here. It's because you're here. I know what it's supposed to be. It's a good way to learn. The year 96? Yeah. There you go. Do you want to look at it? Nope. You can read. I can read. And then this big nut here is supposed to be at 96, or not 96, 300 foot-pounds. We'll do that to get those torqued. We've got three snap rings to stick on here. And uh, we'll get to the ring and pinion next. No, it'd be easier if I like, don't push them down. Yeah, that's what everybody's telling you on the camera. I can't, buddy. Pull them on your dirt bike. You got her. I don't torque nothing. Perfect. It's not that much. No, but you got a lot of lever there. Got Shout that one a little tight with the Hercules, loosen, didn't you? Not loosening it back up. No, it's all right. Perfect. some of those bolts over there. Alright, we got the ring gear in there. We put it back all the original shims. Looks like we got about 15, 14, 15 thousandths of backlash, Mr. Tucker. Is that too much? Yeah. About 16. The book, what's the book called for? Oh, did my page move? I had it open here. What'd you do, move my page? No, the wind blew the page. My wind blew the page. On your thing. All right, we'll find uh, backlash. Seven to nine thousandths. We're not there, are we? Nope. So we gotta take this out, we'll have to uh, take a shim out of here and add to here and make this go in a little bit tighter. Pretty real easy, right? Sure. Did we get it? Barely. Third time's a charm. We had to uh, pull some shims out. I like the fourth time. Fourth time, was it? We got her sitting right at seven thousandths, which is the uh, minimum spec. It's supposed to be seven to nine, so good shape there. Got that tightened up. Sounds a lot better. You know what we're ready for? We're ready to slam this back in the dozer over there. Make sure that case is clean, we'll be ready to go. All right, we got the back end all cleaned out. Got our back plate cleaned out. Tucker's wiping off the forks here. We're gonna go ahead and stab this thing. Put it up in there. I did put new O-rings on these, uh, this uh, manifold block here. A little bit of grease on there. Put some grease on these two shafts here a little bit, help it slide in. So we'll just slide it in those two rails. The only thing we got to line up is this input shaft right here. This comes from the engine. It's going to line up right inside here with this gear. So we got our shaft back in here. We'll have to pull through to the other side. You ready?
Come on in. Come on in. Drive on in. Oh. Go up a little bit. Down a little. Down a little bit. Down a little more. Up a little bit. Up. 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 Up a little more. Whoop. All right, shut that off. Got her. All right, we got everything all bolted up. We got our two big bolts here, washers down here, and we got this little retainer here. So we got to put in our uh, manifold bolts here. Got that all in there. That rod right behind you, Tucker's got that bolt welded on it. You're gonna run that through that hole right out through here. You guys watched the previous video, you'll know how we took all this apart. Let's run all the way through there and you're going to thread it in a hole in there, Tucker, in that shaft. So he's going to thread that in there and then he's going to push that shaft into that steering clutch. And then we got the same shaft's going to go back in through this side. No one didn't weld it straight. Somebody didn't weld it straight, is that you? I didn't weld it. It's got the wobble to it? Uh, It'll be alright. Alright, you got it in there? Okay, so now you got to kind of push that and turn it, wiggle it, jiggle it. It should pop in there. I'll help you out here a little bit. Push it on it. Kind of turn it too. Yep. So this is the shaft that was inside that transmission. We slid it in that steering clutch. This is the one for this side. We're going to slide it in this way. You like it? Go ahead and thread your rod in there. Yep, just like that. And so once he puts that in there, then we've got this pinion shaft that drives the final drive that goes out here. That's good. I had to get a pair of uh, channel locks and putting that other one and kind of turn it so I'll help him get that one in there I gotta wiggle it and send it there you go you gotta keep turning it a little bit I might have to help you right, just push it I'll turn it there you go that go in all the way? It's not really straight. Steering clutch may be up. I'll take a peek at it. Alright, got both those shafts in there. Tucker's putting the pinion shaft in. Now, as I said in an earlier video, if this was a double reduction, a long track tractor, we wouldn't have had to take this track and a sprocket off. So we got to wiggle out. We got two sets of big gear teeth and some spline teeth flying up. So we can move this too if we need to, Tucker. All right, we got her in there. Tucker's putting some grease on. Still some factory grease left in here. This is a lower hour machine. You want it coated or something? No, that's good. Put a little grease around the O-ring here. And then we'll stick this plate on there and we'll be ready to wrap the back up. 
All right, Tucker's putting the transmission drain plug in. We did go ahead and crank those screw jacks down that held the steering clutches up. You crank those down um, till they're flush, and then there's a plug that goes underneath those to keep the oil in. So we should be all done in here. We'll be ready for this uh, new gasket. As you guys can see here in the camera in that shadow, there's actually a red, what they call a nitrate bead. That actually faces outwards towards that plate over here. So it even says that in the parts thing. But uh, just want to make sure that red bead is facing out. It gives a little extra sealant on that plate size. That plate could be warped a little bit. This big casting here is going to be flat. So I never put any sealant or anything on there. So oh, I'm sore. You're sore. But uh, we'll get that out. We'll get the plate on the forklift. Get that put up there, get the hitch on, get some oil in. We're getting close, bub. Hey, what are you doing, Casper? <laughs> All right, Hunter, or Tucker's getting the uh, yeah, hitch on. You got it on the right way? I don't know where it goes. Well, we got two videos going on here at once, so. Got it up. Woo, that was not my foot. I don't have steel gun. All right, so I guess I screwed up to get a transmission filter order. But Napa's bringing us one down, of course. Um, while we're waiting on them, we're gonna go ahead and throw the sprocket on. Hopefully the transmission works. I was gonna start it and see if it moved a little bit, but it'll be fine. We're gonna bolt the sprocket on it. Then we're gonna put the track back on it and use our track press. You watched that first video, you know what I'm talking about, but uh, we'll uh, get the track back up here and bring you guys back in once we get ready to press her together. Well, you did it, Bubby. Smile, you're having lots of fun, aren't you? There's a cricket in my pocket. All right, we got the track on, we got our pin started, and uh, we could possibly hammer that thing. People can do it. What happens when you get over to this side, it's gonna start spreading it out, but since we got this super sweet, fancy track press, we're just gonna put it up there. But hey, I got an electric power pack for it now. Let's get it rigged up. All right, you guys seen there, we got our press back together looking good. We are uh, we got uh, two pads bolt on there, got to find some new bolts. You guys watched that previous video, you'll know why we replaced that front idler. That thing was stuck, we had to get the wrecking ball out, but uh, we'll get the pads on, tighten the track up. We're still waiting on Napa to bring a filter. Cross her fingers, the transmission works. And uh, yeah, she's just about done. Got it tightened up. Tucker's got some fluid in there. You ready to check it and start it up? 
we'll have to uh, get some oil up there. Oh, about took you out. Trying to get all grumpy with me. I'll start it up, then we'll uh, check that fluid. I'll bump it and gear a little bit. Oh, crap. Think it's going to run? Move. You ready? You don't need the cap on it. You're going to have to check it here. Just leave it open. Check it. We got it fixed. You guys seen uh, me messing around with it. It's in that gravel pile. That was second and third gear. You guys seen it spinning the tracks. 
it would even not even hardly pull itself on level ground before so but uh, I feel good about it strong little dozer those are good machines um, we're all wrapped up with this project so you guys like a little two-part video series definitely let me know in the comments below um, hit that thumbs up button if you like the video it helps me out a whole lot so but I uh, appreciate each and everybody watching and uh, we got plenty of more cool videos coming up so make sure you're subscribed so you see that stuff you got a big mess over here bud well we made more room for your high boy now didn't we we got an engine build going down all kinds of cool stuff so make sure you're subscribed we'll see you guys next time all right a lot of people's always asking me how much this stuff costs i'm going to share a little bit of quick info for you guys since this is my tractor we will be putting it up for sale but uh transmission rebuild with labor and everything took a little extra labor because we had to bust a track and stuff but uh you're going to be somewhere busting that track around that eight thousand dollar mark that's today's um prices here in july of 2023 so that could change now if somebody just brought a transmission to me sitting up on the bench um you can figure you know thirty seven hundred four thousand dollars roughly but to uh, give you guys an idea but uh yeah always everybody's always looking for numbers so but uh there you go and, and there's some more hours in that cleaning that thing up getting it disassembled a little bit too that's uh not included included in there so but uh hope that gives you guys a rough idea or so but uh yeah she's all fixed and ready hi boy time <laughs>